The world's largest chain of convenience stores are getting into the game. 7-Eleven has announced they will be building out 50,000 gasoline stations. Uh, no, they didn't. In fact, they're not building out any gas stations that I'm aware of. Actually, zero. None. They're building out their new network called 7Charge. This will be a new EV fast charging network and an app that is promised to deliver a convenient and reliable fast charging experience at 7-Eleven stores in the United States, Canada, and possibly many other countries around the world. 7-Eleven, this is the world's largest chain of convenience stores. They have more than 81,000 stores worldwide. And they're planning on launching an EV charging network. In fact, they're not just planning on it, they've already started. Now, the irony about this story, about this news, is that the country in the world with the most 7-Eleven stores is in fact Japan. Hello, my friends, welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking, great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. Isn't it interesting to see this happen, to see this play out? On the same day we hear about this news, we find out that Japanese energy storage companies are getting Chinese battery companies to build batteries in Japan where they will not only receive money for building the batteries in Japan, but also receive ongoing royalties and profits from the sales of energy storage from these batteries. Essentially, the Chinese are disrupting Japan not only in the automotive industry, but also in the battery storage industry. Now, who do you think is gonna build out all these charges? Who do you think will actually manufacture all these charges going into 82,000 7-Eleven stores worldwide? Now, of course, they're not gonna to go to all 7-Eleven stores, don't know how many they're gonna to go to, but they will go to a lot. Well, of course, it will be China. Now, I'm not saying this with glee, it is just a fact. This is just the way things are going. I'm not saying I'd like it, don't get me wrong there. I know some of you are a bit like, oh, you're, you're pro-China. Not at all. In fact, I lived there for a while um, and they actually banned my website. So I had a blog. It was nothing to do with China. It was actually about my cycling, right? My off-road cycling. I had pannier bags on my, my bike. I'd camp in different places. And yeah, we had we had a bit of fun in China. But when I was there, I went to a zoo and there they were kicking them. They had some bears that they had in chains and they were making them do tricks and things and they were kicking them and I started yelling at them and I filmed a YouTube video and I just couldn't contain my rage at what they were doing to these bears. I was like, why the hell are you nut jobs doing this to these bears? I mean, they'll probably do the tricks for you anyway. You don't need to kick them. Ridiculous. They were just really, really treating them with such disrespect. I couldn't believe it. And the crowd was laughing. That was um, probably my first taste of China. Now, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of good Chinese people who do a lot of good stuff, but then there's another side to China, which is absolutely brutal. You've probably seen the dogs, the skinning of the dogs that they do. At the China, they have the festival, the dog festival, where they skin these dogs, native Chinese dogs, they skin them alive. They don't kill them because they think it's better to keep them alive, fresher meat or something. Skin them alive and then dump them in a cage. And there's videos of this where they're crying and moaning. Things like this happen there. So I'm not trying to say that it's great that China is manufacturing everything and they're going to take over the automotive industry, not all of it, but much of it. Now back to 7-Eleven's charging network. 7Charge builds on the initiative started in June 2021 when the company set a goal to install DC fast chargers at more than 250 stores by the end of 2022. Now 7-Eleven says its intention is to build one of the largest EV fast charging networks of any retailer in the world and any retailer in North America. There is no exact number of how many charges that they plan to put out, but 7-Eleven has 13,000 stores and franchises in the US and Canada, and that number is growing. It could be a very big number. Let's say each of them had say five charges. Let's say some have none, some have 10, just average it out of five. That's a huge figure. According to the press release, seven charge starts with an undisclosed number of charges available in locations in Florida, Texas, Colorado, and California. The charges will be compatible with two DC fast charging connect standards, CHAIDMO and combined charging system, which is CCS1. Power output and 
Pricing haven't been talked about yet, but they'll be available on the seven charge website in the near future. And apparently there's an app that they're making or they have available now that works really, really well. Inside EV says the most interesting thing about 7-Eleven's move is that the company is trying to build its own network and app rather than signing up for some kind of partnership with a general fast charging provider. It wants to be one of the kings in this area. But it's worth considering the fact that, well, here in Australia, there are no EV fast charging companies actually making a profit. All of them are basically relying on government incentives to get them through. Right now, it's a tough industry for fast charging. Obviously, 7-Eleven thinks, well, it doesn't matter if we don't necessarily have to make a profit. We can break even. When you come and charge your car, you're going to buy a bunch of snacks and other stuff from us. That's where we make our money, selling drinks and snacks. I'm guessing that's 7-Eleven's plan. It's tough. If you're one of the competition, this is going to be difficult because it is a bit of an advantage to charge your car at a 7-Eleven. I mean, a lot of these other charging networks, there's nothing there really. It might be a little shop or something or nothing. So I think 7-Eleven could have a good head start in that way. 7-Eleven said, for over 95 years, 7-Eleven has innovated to meet our customers' needs, delivering convenience where, when, and how they want it. Now we are innovating once again to meet our customers where they are by expanding our business to provide EV drivers convenience in the future, but today. Now, of course, other retailers are doing similar things. I've reported on that on the channel, Taco Bell, Subway. The list goes on and on. General Motors plan on building out 35,000. So there's going to be really probably hundreds of thousands of EV chargers worldwide. Some of them don't work that well. Some of them do. That's the key issue here. Can 7-Eleven nail this? Well, that may be getting to this at about the right time. A lot of the technology has matured now. Probably their investment should be on stuff that will work. We hope. Either way, this is great news. We're not hearing 7-Eleven say, hey, we're going to build out some gas stations. No, they're not. They're building out EV charging networks probably all over the world. Thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Bye-bye.